my wife back in September 24, 2020, heard audibly the voice of God the Father. He asked, Do you know what are the three principles that Jesus worked with during his ministry? Then my wife said, Lord, I do not know. Then the Lord showed her Holy Scriptures. He told her the three principles are love, water, and fire. First principle is godly love. What is godly love? Jesus' first principle is a pure and long-suffering love for humanity. This is what Jesus demonstrated on the cross. We all know the popular verse, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. When the opportunity arises, would you die for a complete stranger? What about a loved one? Would you coward during persecution or at the barrel of the gun? This is exactly what your God Jesus did for you. And if God would humble himself to die for you, that is a God worthy. Worthy of complete devotion. That is a God worth loving with everything you have. Love forgives. Jesus, while being mocked, his flesh thirsted, painted, and suffered, and bled on the cross. But he still cried out to the Father to forgive them. Matthew 6, verse 14 through 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This is something that the Holy Spirit teach my wife and I in the beginning. It was actually the first thing he taught us. Then he went on to teach us other things. But if you forgive not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. These verses are very clear. If you're holding anger towards anyone, you must repent. You must repent of that anger and forgive for God the Father to forgive you. This is a requirement. And if it's not taken care of immediately, you can go to bed tonight angry and miss the rapture. Godly love does not tolerate sin. God loves people with a passion, but he hates sin. There are those who say, preach love, don't preach convicting messages. And they say, but God is love and he's forgiving. They want love and forgiveness, but nothing to do with repentance. If this was so, then we will all be under the wrath of God with a death sentence on our heads. The world will justify itself in the name of love. These people love their sins, and they need to repent. Jesus came to preach repentance. The apostle Paul quoted, Repent and let each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 Only after repentance, then can the grace of God, which is His love in action, can bless you. The love of God is not like how the world gives it. His love is patient towards you and not tolerant towards sin. Godly love also disciplines. Hear this. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be jealous thereof, and repent. Revelation 3.19 God's new love commandment is simple. Love God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love others as yourself. This is the principle of God's love, and sin has no place in it. Now let's talk about the second principle. What is the second principle of Jesus? Water. Water is the cleansing power of God. John 4, verse 13 to 14 says, Jesus said to the woman at the well, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. This water Jesus is referring to is the purifying living water of the Holy Spirit. John Chapter 7, verse 38. He that believe on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This living water 
Holy Spirit. Springs flows up from your belly out your mouth with the evidence of tongues. This living water is the Holy Spirit. He is not a substance. He is a person. And He is the living God. God the Father. The creator of the universe. Ephesians 5 verse 26. That He might satisfy and cleanse with the washing of water by the word. This verse clearly teaches us that water, the Holy Spirit, cleanses our sins through Jesus, the Word. If you humble yourself, God the Holy Spirit will partner with you, forgive you, and teach you how to clean your past and present. What is the third principle that God was speaking of? The third principle of fire. Fire is the purifying power of God. Numbers 31 verse 23 says, Everything that can stand the fire should go through the fire and be clean. If unable to go through the fire, it will be purified through water. Trials serve the purpose of purification. Do you hear that? Therefore, when we go through trials, remember what the Lord said in Isaiah 43 too. The waters will not overflow you. The fire will not burn you because your God is with you. All throughout the Bible, there are many examples of these three principles, fire. Water. Love. Keep your lamps filled with oil, and God bless you all. Until next time. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son. Galatians 4.4 4.